right now, we're finding out a bit more about the South African Youth Sports Awards with Ewan. Let's find out more. There is an incredible buzz in youth sporting circles. Why? Because not since 2002 have we been able to award our premier young sporting achievers in the way that the South African School Sports Awards will be doing in 2014. I know one gentleman who is as excited as I am about this incredible occasion is the Gauteng MEC for Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation, Lebohang Mayile. Sir, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank I know you. you have always had a very strong focus on developing our youth and this really is a wonderful way of helping young sports stars realize their dreams at a time when we haven't been given in that platform. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, we are very excited um, because the Houding School Sports Awards were last held in 2002 and as you know that we have um, decided that we want to focus on development, we want to focus on school sports in our national sport plan and the provincial sport plan. There is greater emphasis on uh, development of sports in schools because we want to have more and more kids uh, being actively involved in school and we know what are the advantages of having more and more kids playing. They will be away from drugs, away from alcohol, it will help us with teenage pregnancy. It will help us uh, with a whole range of challenges that are there in, in, in our school. So we have decided that we want to revive these school sports hours this year. I was going to say, you've taken a very holistic approach with dealing with the schools and a very hands-on approach. How have the schools responded? How have our youth sports stars responded to this? We are working with the Department of Education and we are very excited because uh, uh, educators are responding uh, positively, learners are responding positively, parents are responding positively, and there are still challenges like uh, facilities, uh, you still have uh, uh, schools that can't afford to uh, build uh, facilities, uh, we are attending to that. Um, you still have kids that uh, have opportunities to represent the country um, abroad and they can't afford that. So there are a number of challenges which we, we are attending to. We have budgeted about 33 million rands wow. for school sports uh, in the province, but that's not enough. We need more, and that's why I want to say to the private sector, invest more in school sports as well so that our kids can play, our kids can refrain from doing wrong things, they can refrain from um, doing drugs, from a teenage pregnancy, unprotected sex, and we can have a, a, a good environment in our schools. This is a great way of putting the word out there. Now, how do the awards come together? Talk to us about the criteria and how you actually have gone about constructing the awards themselves. Well, out of the 2,000 public schools that are there in Gauteng, we, we, we have plus minus 1,000 500 schools where sports is taking place in our schools. And uh, there have been various uh, competitions and leagues that have been running throughout the year, last year, working with the Department of um, Education. And then there was a panel of judges which was um, assembled, which is uh, then looking at uh, who deserves to win based on the criteria which will include consistency, which, is, which will include uh, excelling, uh, dedication, commitment, and all, all, all the good and uh, positive uh, attributes that we're looking for. And that's how you approach the problem. MEC, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you so much for the momentum you have given the awards yourself. I think it helps to have that kind of impetus coming from government. And, and like you said, we look forward to seeing the private sector stepping up and adding their weight as well. And all thank you very much for your support. Oh, it is our pleasure. Who knows what future superstars will emerge with this kind of platform. Wishing all of those nominated all the best of luck tonight. Ah, that runs through our administrators, our coaches, which is right down to the young sporting stars. You guys certainly deserve the accolades. This is something that the private sector really does need to get behind.